are totally prepared for the second option, not a preferred option. But if we take that option, it will be devastating. I can tell you that. Devastating for North Korea. That's called the military option. If we have to take it, we will. He's acting very badly. He's saying things that should never, ever be said. And we're replying to those things, but it's a reply. It's not an original statement. It's a reply. But the things that he said over the last year, and if you look back, the things that he said to past administrations, North Korea is a situation that should have been handled 25 years ago, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, 10 years ago, and five years ago, and it could have been handled much more easily. You had various administrations, many administrations, which left me a mess. But I'll fix the mess. Get straight into the details on North Korea's missile launch. This latest missile flew over Japan and landed out in the Pacific Ocean and appears to be Pyongyang's response to the UN Security Council sanctions approved earlier this week. Let's hear more from our Defence Ministry correspondent Kim Hyun-bin, who joins us on the line. Hyun-bin. Uh, good morning, Mark. Uh, North Korea launched what we know now was an intermediate ballistic missile early Friday morning from an area near Pyongyang. As South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff says the IRBM was fired at 6.57 a.m. Uh, South Korea time from Sunan near the North Korean capital. And it flew over northern Japan and came down in the North Pacific. And as South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff says the missile hit an altitude of 770 kilometers and flew around 3,700 kilometers. Now, so in Washington are currently analyzing the launch to confirm what type of missile it was, uh, but many experts say the missile was most likely a Hwasong-12 IRBM. Now, late last, uh, last month, North Korea fired a Hwasong-12 over Japan, which traveled 2,700 kilometers and reached a maximum altitude of about 550 kilometers. Now, today's launch followed a similar path, but flew 1,000 kilometers further than the previous launch 17 days ago. Now, in response, the South Korean military has conducted its own ballistic missile training exercise in the East Sea. Now, the military fired a Tomu-2, which has a range of 250 kilometers. And the Joint Chiefs of Staff says the missile was fired considering the distance between the training ground and the Sunan airfield at the origin of this morning's provocation. And North Korea's latest launch also comes four days after the U.N. Security Council slapped stronger sanctions on the regime for its six nuclear tests uh, conducted earlier this month. The United States has great strength and patience. But if it is forced to defend itself or its allies, we will have no choice but to totally destroy North Korea. Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself and for his regime. The United States is ready, willing, and able. But hopefully, this will not be necessary. That's what the United Nations is all about. That's what the United Nations is for. Let's see how they do. It is time for North Korea to realize that the denuclearization is its only acceptable future. Japan deployed Patriot missile launches in central Tokyo on Tuesday, a move officials said was aimed at providing ballistic missile defense in the event of a possible North Korean missile launch. 
in the dead of night, military personnel rolled out two Patriot Advanced Capability 3, or PAC-3, interceptors at the Japanese Defense Ministry's headquarters in Ichigawa, central Tokyo, while others were deployed to Osaka and Narashino on the outskirts of the capital. Footage filmed by Japanese broadcaster TV Tokyo also appeared to show two launchers readied near a U.S. military base in Yokosuka. Weapon way in two. Switch is safe, three-way. Doors coming open. Doors are open. Trapped. Three seconds parameters. Looking good. Fifteen seconds. Doors open. Parameters check. Two. One, release. Timing, one away. Two away, stop release, 10 seconds. Doors coming closed. Release. Weapon away in two. One away, switch safe. Flash. Alpha Kilo 9 and surround, you can spec 9 in the four corners and working 2 to 0, just be aware that. Release. Weapon play in 2. Switch is safe, 3 way. 10 seconds. Yeah, it's actually less than 35 seconds, I don't think about it. 1, 2, 3. Beautiful. Love it. Three, you're broken. Confirm from proof. Elevator 260. Blackout 33, Kingpin. Affirm. Elevator. This one here is a 22. Yeah, this one we're just landing and flying back. The beginning of the debriefing uh, for the take photographs. Under 7001, we will be able to First, Lieutenant John. The U.S. maintains an ironclad commitment to the defense of the Republic of Korea. Thank you for joining us.
첫째, 첫째 목표만 주어지면 언제든지 그 타겟을 정확하게 원하는 시기 그 precisely strike the target, the enemy target, when and where, as far as wherever the target is. So I would urge everybody to. So we have to turn to the palace. This is the first time. Um, Today is, is privilege to be on words to come up here. I'll, I'll tell you this one unique thing is we have the oldest in the squad. Air power! Air power! We work together! We work together!